Hey, fellow story lovers. I'm Jonathan Cormer, host of the Dork Tales Storytime Podcast, a show that brings families together to laugh, learn, and delight in a tale well told. Every two weeks, my forest friend, Mr. Reginald T. Hedgehog, and I bring you slightly wacky and very geeky retellings of classic fairy tales and untold stories about amazing hidden heroes of history. So check us out wherever you listen to podcasts or visit us at dorktalesstory.com. It's the book club for kids. It's the book club for kids. It's the book club for kids. It's the book club for kids podcast. It's a bonus edition of the book club for kids podcast. Hi, I'm Kitty Feldy. It is finally summer, and the book club for kids is celebrating by dropping in on the Nantucket Book Festival. Writers and book lovers from all over the country are here on this tiny island off the coast of Massachusetts to talk about books. And we're here, too, asking young readers our favorite question. What's your favorite book? My name is Chloe. And what city do you live in? (laughs) Nantucket. My favorite book is the Humphrey books. The Humphrey books are about a hamster who is in a classroom and he does adventures. And why do you like the books? Well, they're kind of exciting and interesting. They like adventures he does and the things that happen and they solve them. My first name is Elena. I live here on Nantucket. My favorite book is probably from the Canterwood Crest series and it's about a girl and she goes away to um, horseback riding school and there's like a lot of drama and I like it because it's just relatable. Are you a, a horsewoman yes, yourself? Yes, I am. So it's a, it's, a, it's a book that speaks to you because yes. of that. Yes. Tell me your very first name. Claire. Where do you live? Nantucket. All right, give me the name of your first favorite book. The School for Good and Evil. It's my favorite because it has a lot of action and... It has, like, magic in it, and it's fun to read. Do you like books with magic in them? Yes. And what's another favorite book? Mm-hmm. Harry Potter. Because? <laughs> the same reason. Do you wish you had magic powers? Yes. What yes. kind? I want to fly. <laughs> Enzo. And what city do you live in, Enzo? New York City. So what's the most memorable, you know, of all the books you've read in your entire life, what's the one book you think that I should read before I die? Um, oh yeah, The Iliad. It was good. It was suspenseful and action-packed. Was it a tough read? Yeah, it was tough language. But was it worth it? Yeah. Daisy. And what city? Uh, New York. Favorite book? Ooh. I really liked the Divergent series. I mean, it was set in the future, and I liked the story of it. I shall. I'm going into sixth grade. And what town do you live in? Nantucket. So what's your favorite book? Fish in a Treat, because it's very interesting, because it talks about something that happens in the world. Which is what? Like, this girl, Allie, she has this, like, disorder. Why that book? Why did that book mean something to you? Because it made me feel really good and yeah. And why would you recommend it to somebody else? Because it's really creative and fun and really interesting so it would be nice for somebody else to read it. Abby. And what city do you live in? Um, Columbus, Ohio. And what's your favorite book? Roller Girl. I just love the uh, theme of it. She doesn't really think she could do like um, the roller derby, but she like actually could. Like she's really good at it. And does that speak to you? Yeah, because um, some kids don't believe that they can't do something, but they can. I'm Beatrice. I live in Washington, D.C. My favorite book is Half a Chance because it's about photography, and I really like photography. There's also some beach, like about the beach, and I really love the beach. Yeah. And you are? Avery. Avery, where are you from? Um, New York City. 
What's your favorite book? Iggy Peck Architect. Well, it's about an he's a little boy and um, he's been one since um, he was two. And then his parents see that he's a really, really good architect. And um, now in second grade, his teacher is Miss Lila Greer. And Miss Lila Greer um, does not like buildings because when she was in second grade, she got lost from her class on the skyscraper. I really like the buildings that he makes because he can make buildings out of almost anything. Alexander. And what city do you live in? Uh, Denver. What's your favorite book? Uh, science Encyclopedia, I guess. Why? Well, one thing is that they typically have great illustrations, and they're also very educational for really anyone. In. Yeah. And what city do you live in? Boston. What's your favorite book? Uh, I have like five favorite books. Uh, the Giver, The City of Ember, actually no, it's three. And then Michael Vey, and then Dark Life, that's four, sorry. That one is like about a bunch of people, like after humanity, like in the future, start parts of like the, uh, I read it a couple years ago. They live, start living underwater, and they start like, it's really cool though, and there's like, there's like a problem with like a murderer, and I'm not gonna spoil it, but it was very, very interesting. And why do you like it? <laughs> well, it was very suspenseful, and it was very interesting and in-depth, and I just liked it really well. Anna, my favorite book is Nancy Drew. I love the Nancy Drew books. Why? Because they're, like, mysterious, and she's so... She's, she's eager to go on a dangerous journey to solve a mystery, and it's just so exciting to see what, what happens after you read it. Are you adventurous yourself? Would you like to be a detective and go on those kinds of adventures? Yeah, I'd like to do that, <laughs> if I could. Um, another favorite book is um, 68 Rooms. It's about a girl, and her friend finds a key, and then when she touches it, she shrinks. And in Chicago, they have this museum with, like, tiny rooms, and she gets to, to go on adventures in those rooms. And it's... it's I like adventure books. What's your first name? Lily. Where do you live? What city? Chicago. So what's your very favorite book? Probably The Fault in Our Stars. The story about the love story and the cancer and how they fought through it anyway. And what did that say to you about, was there a lesson of life in there for you? Or? That anyone can do anything. It's a good story. Thanks, Lily and Anna and Enzo and everybody else who joined us today from the Nantucket Book Festival. We'll have a list of everybody's favorite books at our website, bookclubforkids.org. And if you have a favorite book, you can be on the show too. Just have your folks send us an email to bookclubforkidspodcast at gmail.com and we will send the easy instructions. That's bookclubforkidspodcast at gmail.com. Thanks this week to Jonathan Jensen, who composed and performed our music. You can subscribe to Book Club for Kids on iTunes or add us to your playlist on Stitcher and you will never miss an episode. And please help us spread the word about the show to your friends, your teachers, your librarians, and all the other kids out there who love reading. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and even Snapchat. And by the way, we have a free newsletter for teachers, parents, and librarians. It's designed to help turn reluctant readers into lifelong book lovers. You can sign up at our website site, bookclubforkids.org. I'm Kitty Feldy. Thanks again for listening. And if you're looking for a way to stop the summer reading slump, why not pair a podcast with a book? Our other podcast, The Fina Mendoza Mysteries, is based on the first book in the Fina Mendoza mystery series, Welcome to Washington, Fina Mendoza. The podcast isn't an audio book, it's a fully dramatized version of the story, so you can listen first and then read the book, or read a chapter or two and then listen to an episode. That's the Fina Mendoza Mysteries, wherever you listen to podcasts.